How's it going everybody? My name is Edwin. I'm an acro technician and things have gotten a little hectic. A lot of people have left, so I'm gonna do my best. Yeah, that's the update. Uh, today we have a 2010 MDX that's coming in for a ring job that involves replacing the rings and replacing the piston heads. So, I don't know if you can tell, but behind me we got both heads and got the bottom of the uh, motor out. As always, if you can leave a comment, leave a like, uh, helps out the YouTube algorithm, helps bring you more stuff like this, or if you want to see me be stupid, that's just as good too. Again. Thank you in advance and let's hop over to the video. Okay, I'm gonna start off by removing the air plenum. That involves removing the top half of the air box, the intake hose, moving the throttle body out of the way. As you can see right now, that piece is just coming right out. I'm taking out the battery. Now on the right side of the car, I am preparing to remove the components to gain access to the timing belt. This includes the PCM, the coolant reservoir, the power steering reservoir, the timing belt covers, the motor mount, and the timing belt tensioner. With all this stuff out of the way, I should be able to I should be able to take out the timing belt. Wow, that's a sweaty back. That's a really sweaty back. I'm bringing sweaty back. Yeah, sorry. And. Wow, that's really sweaty. I'm just showing that it's in uh, cylinder number one, top of the TVC number one, and I lost my train of thought. Nice. I am going to try and remove the A-pipe or just lower the exhaust so that it's disconnecting from both front and rear catalytic converters. That way when I'm taking the heads off, it's still not connected to the rest of the exhaust system. If you've ever worked on the Honda or Acura V6 engine, then you feel my pain when it comes to these head bolts. They are no joke. That's why I have this random pipe on my half inch ratchet to get these these ugh, these things out of the way. But at least they're coming out. And there you go, that's the front cell in the head out. So we're just gonna do the exact same stuff for the wrist cylinder head and we'll have both heads out of the car. Now I am removing the oil pan and pickup tube and screen at the bottom of the engine so I can gain access to right here. These are the uh, connecting rod bolts. As soon as these guys come off, I can get the pistons out of the, 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 the block. Make sure there are no uh, deep grooves, scratches, or any abnormal damage or wear inside of the engine. If that's the case, I gotta replace the whole block. So, in this case, we are good, and I'm free to go ahead and replace the rings and piston heads. Taking apart the pistons really isn't that hard. 
just got to remove the C-clip or one C-clip that's holding the uh, wrist pin in place. Then use the heat gun to heat the whole piston head up. Yep, there we go. And from there, yeah, I'm just gonna tap out the uh, old wrist pin. That way, that way we can disconnect the connecting rod since we're gonna be reusing it and swap it over to the new assembly. So over here, I'm putting in the new one uh, C clip. Gonna heat it all up. Start the new uh, new wrist pin in, and there you go. Here's the old one. You can see how all the carbon built up of all the oil that's uh, been caked on there. Yeah, not too good. Here are some new uh, rings. Each ring has its own uh, designated position. The bottom ring you saw was the oil scraper uh, ring. It sits in the third slot on the uh, piston head. You just saw each individual position for those rings. The 2E you saw sits in the second groove. The 1E sits in the top groove. Here I'm inspecting the connecting rod for any excessive wear or any unseen damage since it came out okay. Uh, we're just going to repeat the same steps for this piston for the other five and then we can put everything back inside the car. right in and it's tapered so that as the piston get pushed through the ring is compressed so that they fit nice inside the block. And now back underneath the car we're going to connect the connecting rod to the crankshaft. Uh, and we're going to torque all these connecting rod bolts and torque them to the specified angle and then we're going to move on to the other five. Mm -hmm. 